Hi everyone, welcome back to Math Real, and today let's talk about functions represented on a graph. First of all, let's re uh, review what a function is. A function is something that maps every element in the one set into every other element in another set. Like for example, you have one, two, and three, you map them into four, five, and six. Well, this is a function since every element is being mapped into exactly one element in the other set. Um, the set on the left, or um, this is called the domain. And the set on the right, this one over here, this is called the range. Uh, normally when we talk about functions, when, we, when it comes to math, we're not talking about just finite sets. Or um, instead, we usually talk about the set of real numbers. Or in other words, every number that can be written and is not like imaginary. Um, the reason we do this is because we can graph them on a coordinate plane. Um, the axis on the the axis that is horizontal, also called the x-axis, represents the domain. Or um, and the axis that is vertical or the y-axis is represents the range. Every point on the coordinate plane, for example, this could say two, four. Every point that is on the function represents the number two being mapped into the number four using this function f. You can't exactly draw this out with like the circles and numbers rotation since there are infinitely many real numbers. Even if we simply have like this function over here, there are infinitely many numbers that are on a line, so you cannot represent it with um, the circles or set notation. Instead, we use a function f of x equals 2x for x that is in two, minus 2 to 2. Let's break this down one by one. First of all, f of x represents the function that is uh, the number, the um, x is being mapped into, or in this case, 2x. So if you input any x, like 1, you get 1, 2. Since 1 times 2 is 2, 0, 0. And uh, this point is like minus 1 half, minus 1, etc. And uh, on the other hand, um, x, this symbol represents is in the set. And uh, this means that x can only take values between uh, minus two and two. And finally, um, this is called an interval and it represents the set of all real numbers between minus two and two. So um, let's cover the horizontal and the, let's cover the vertical line test to see if something is a function. If we have some random segment or like curve drawn on the corner plane, there is one really easy way to test if it's a function or not. And that is drawing a vertical line everywhere to see if it intersects the curve more than once. If it does, like in this case over here, uh, this means that if you input the function, like if you input x into um, this graph called f, f of x has three different values, three different possible values. And that disobeys the definition of a function. And therefore this is not a function. However, on the other hand, if um, this graph looks like this, well, no matter where you draw the vertical line, uh, it's going to intersect the graph exactly once, or at most once. And therefore, this is a function. So this is f of x. It is a function. Uh, that's all I have to cover for today's video. Thank you so much, and subscribe. Thank you.